Hey, True Believers England teen here. So last year, me and my brother were thinking there is no Razzies for comic books. We need to create this. And we did. And we called it the Gabby Awards. And this has been a lot of fun to do. This is our third. Basically, it's the worst of the worst in comics. Creators and characters and comic books alike. And you get to vote. Last night, we were all talking to the uh, viewers of the live stream to pick out nominations. Here are the nominations for this year's Gabby Awards. So don't forget, everything's going to be left in the description. Vote right here. Just take the list that I leave in the description and either erase or mar make a mark by the one that you choose. Easy peasy. All right, so without further ado, let's get this party started. Here are the nominations for Worst Fan Interaction. Bill Sankevich. Mags Visaggio, Robbie Rodriguez, Chuck Wendig, and finally, Kwanzer. These are the nominations for Worst Character Misrepresentation. This is basically a character that's been written differently than they really should act, different than they have ever acted before. Jean Grey for Becoming More and More Like Magneto in X-Men Red. Superman for being okay with Lois Lane wanting to be separated and his son being stuck in space. Judge Dredd from Under Siege for being written like a social justice warrior who doesn't care about the law and does care about identity politics. Batman for his many mood swings. At one point he seems reasonable, the next point he's knocking out Commissioner Gordon. And Iceman for treating a 50-year character who should be acting 30 as a teenager. Here are the nominees for Worst Event Comic. The Batman and Catwoman Wedding. Infinity Wars. Spider-Geddon. Heroes in Crisis. And The Return of Wolverine. These are the nominations for the comic book characters and creators who have just overstayed their welcome. Brian Michael Bendis for Superman. Time to get him off that book. <laughs> Harley Quinn, Captain Marvel, Honey Badger, and Squirrel Girl. Here are the nominations for the worst moments in comic books of 2018 July through December. Catwoman leaves Bruce Wayne at the altar in Batman number 50. Lois Lane tells Clark Kent that she wants to be married but not married in Action Comics 1004. Harley Quinn defeats the Trinity, yes, Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman all at once in Heroes in Crisis. The Martian sex scene in Martian Manhunter, number one. And the young lady sees her period blood in her panties in Maneaters, number one. Worst SJW-oriented comic book. This is a comic book that puts politics or agenda or message above story and art. Border Town. Man-Eaters, Black AF Widows and Orphans, X-Men Black Mojo, Iceman Number 1. Here are the nominees for Worst Fight Scene in Comic Books between July and December. Harley Quinn vs. The Trinity in Heroes in Crisis. For those who don't know, The Trinity are Batman, Wonder Woman, and Superman, and she beats them. The non-fight between Darkseid and Mr. Miracle in Mr. Miracle number 12. Batman versus the bathroom, or Bruce Wayne versus, versus the bathroom. I think this is number 52. Harley Quinn versus Booster Gold in Heroes in Crisis. And Doctor Strange versus the Machine Man in Tony Stark Iron Man number 3. Here are the nominations for Worst New Ongoing Series. Now, whether or not they were canceled soon after they were released is not our business, not our problem. These were the ones to be planned. They were planned to be ongoing series. West Coast Avengers. Man Eaters. Border Town. Hex Wives. And Catwoman. These are the nominees for the one-issue story. Could be an issue from an ongoing series, a graphic novel, or a one-shot. Doesn't matter. X-Men Black Mojo. 
Batman number 50. Action Comics 1004. Superman number 1. And X-Men Black Mystique. Here are the nominees for the worst new miniseries of 2018 July through December. Iceman. Return of Wolverine. Plastic Man. Martian Manhunter. And Judge Dredd Under Siege. Here are the nominees for the worst artist in 2018 from July to December. Riley Rosmo. Rosmo for Martian Manhunter. Leonardo Romero for Shuri. Ramon Villalobos for Border Town. Tim Smith for Black AF Widows and Orphans. And Kate Nimzik Nimzik for Man Eaters. Here are the nominations for Worst Comic Book Writer of 2018, July through December Brian Michael Bendis for Superman titles. Chelsea Kane for Man Eaters. Eric M. Esquival for Border Town. Tom Taylor for X Men Red and Kelly Thompson for West Coast Avengers. These are the nominations for Worst Independent Comic Book for 2018, July through December. Maneaters. LaGuardia. Oh shit, it's Kim and Kim. Savage Dragon. And Black AF, Widows and Orphans. Here are the nominees for the Worst Marvel Comic Book for 2018 from July to December. Tony Stark, Iron Man, The Unstoppable Wasp, and The Agents of Girl, Iceman, the miniseries, The Life of Captain Marvel, and West Coast Avengers. Here are the nominees for the worst DC comic of 2018 from July to December. Border Town, Superman, Hexwives, Sandman Presents The Dreaming, and Nightwing. Here are the nominations for the absolute worst comic book of 2018 from July to December. Batman number 50. Tony Stark, Iron Man. Heroes in Crisis. Border Town. And Man Eaters. So there you go, guys. Those are the nominations for the Gabby, the Gabby Awards 2018 from July to December. Don't forget to cast your vote. The way you cast your vote is down in the description. There is a list of all the nominees. Just cut and paste that. Put it in the comment section and either delete everything you don't want or make it mark by the one that you are voting for. Okay? Uh, simple as that. Easy peasy. And yes, I'm doing it here and not on a Twitter poll because a Twitter poll just shows... Everything right there for you as soon as you vote. And we're going to be doing this as a live stream next Monday. So make sure you check that out. It's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, so every year I have one person saying, But I didn't know how to vote, so I didn't vote. Okay, so in the description, there's a list of all the nominees. All you do is you 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 paste that. on, You cut and then paste into the comment section and either eliminate all the ones you don't want or you make a check mark by the ones you do want, and that's how you vote, okay? Now, a lot of times there are people who say, yeah, but I didn't understand how to vote. So all you do is in the description, there's a list of the nominees. Cut and paste it, put it into the description, or write it, type into the description which ones you want. Um, if you're not an independent comic book reader or you haven't read them, just vote for one that you like the name of, just vote. Um, th it's simple as that. Uh, also, uh, yeah, it was kind of funny to see some of these nominees. Like, Eric Escaval, I believe, was nominated for a Spirit Award last year. It's kind of weird how the mighty have fallen, right? Anyway, uh, there you go. Don't forget to vote, guys. That's the most important part. Don't let other people pick the worst comic books of the year for you. You need to pick. You need to have your voice heard. Put it out there, gang. That's what this is all about. The way we got these nominations were we nominated and then everybody in the comment section of our live stream voted. This was nominated by you. It has to be voted on by you to make it what it really is. So please, by all means, now vote. 
Um, now, sometimes I do get some idiots who, after I've described how to vote, say, I don't know how to vote. In the description, there is the list, the description to this video, not what I'm saying right now. And all you have to do is cut and paste it into the comment section and either eliminate what you don't want or make a mark by the ones you do want. See how that works? It's pretty easy. So don't forget to vote, gang. Now, if you want to see more videos like this, by the, actually, we're going to have one uh, after this called the Spirit Awards, which is the best of the year. But don't forget to click like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. Also, this is the way I'm trying to make a living. So if you don't mind helping out the channel, go on over to Patreon, drop a dollar in the till, helps keep the lights on, help us keep making videos for you. Or when we're doing live streams, uh, leave a super chat. That's always accepted and uh, appreciated as well. Like, thank everybody who's already done that. And to everyone, all of the true believers, thank you very, very much for watching.